Plants can't escape changes in their environment, hungry creatures or invading pathogens. So how do plants identify and respond to potential threats? Two types of molecular signals work together to warn plants of danger and help them respond. External molecules derived from attackers, called HAMPs and PAMPs, and internal molecules, called DAMPs or DAMPs, released by damaged plant cells. An important DAMP found in high concentrations in animals and plants is adenosine triphosphate or ATP. Inside cells, ATP is the essential energy source driving biological reactions. But when ATP is outside cells that have been damaged, it acts as an ideal danger signal. Dr. Tanaka's team at Washington State University focus their research on the role of ATP in plant defense. Plant cells are protected by a thin membrane inside a strong protective wall. When cells are damaged mechanically, wounded by munching herbivores, or attacked by pathogens, ATP is released. ATP is also released when there is no visible cell damage. This could be caused by chemical and physical factors like osmotic and salt stress, or pathogen-derived elicitors like chitin and mycotoxin. Released ATP binds to receptor molecules, P2K1, in cell plasma membranes and starts a chain reaction that causes expression of defense genes. Approximately 500 genes, along with many molecular pathways, are involved in the defense response caused by extracellular ATP. By engineering these genes, researchers could help plant defense systems when faced with challenging environmental conditions, predators and pests. Plants could also be bred to respond faster or not waste their energy using their entire immune system if only a specific defense is needed. This could reduce pesticide use and improve yields.